Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And today I'll be doing a line of sight and FPB flight with my Dope Frames 4 inch insect. Um, as you can see, I've done a few changes from the last videos. I'm um, the biggest one that I'm um, showing you here is I've swapped in the Emacs RS 2205 2600 KV red bottoms over the 1806 motors I had, as well as some DAL uh, T 4045 bullnose tri blades. So I should be getting about 800 grams of more thrust, and also this. Um, 3D printed uh, HD cam mount showed up that was uh, made for this. So it just screws on with the two screws there and then it lets you put on. So I will have the camera on for the FPV flight. And I also have a modded uh, HS1177 with the new lens and uh, settings. And I'm going to do a line of sight first to get a feel for it. I haven't flown it yet besides the hover to make sure everything's working correctly. And then I'm going to do some FPV. So let's get into that. Alright, so let's turn the radio on. Welcome to quad plugged in here. Oops. Some switches down there, and because this is a, these are new motors, I don't know what kind of flight time I'm gonna get, so I'm gonna run a buzzer. Sounds like there's a plane or something going overhead. So let's put that there. I'm gonna stay real low though, and then let's get our radio on here and start a timer and let's take off here. So, seems like I'm using about the same power to um, hover here. I'm going to try and go down here a little bit because of the way the sun is. Late afternoon here. Sounds very smooth. Whoa. Alright. These motors and props certainly do have more kick than the 1806. My battery hit. It's beeping already at 3.4 volts. Sounds like the props are hitting resonant frequency when I, uh... If you can hear that there, hopefully I'll try and bring it in. That right there. Um, I have a lot of problem with that at, on DAL props. When I have them set so low, the, uh, idle speed. I hit resonant frequency. Oh yeah, this is definitely more peppy. I think the, this definitely warrants that I need stronger batteries now though. Oh yeah, this is definitely closer to a five inch. Alright, let's hover in close, see if we can get a thumbnail here. Like those purple props, that wide angle lens, and the yellow body. And this is just the same tune I was running from the 1806 motors. Should be fairly similar. I will probably have some tweaking to do. Okay. I think this battery is just about done. That was 2 minutes and 20 seconds there. So. Yeah, that's um. Right, I forgot to go over that, but I'm running the Emacs RS2205 2600 KB Red Bottom, some DYS XM20 amp uh, ESC is running 14.4 multi shot. Got an X Racer V3.1 board in there, 8 kilohertz, 8 kilohertz, and a Trinity Genotech 1000 milliamp hour 4S 45C battery. So now let's put the uh, SJ cam on. I'm going to be adding about 70 grams, and let's do some FPV, and I'll sum up my thoughts on them afterwards.
right, there we go. Here we are back again after that quick little Maiden FPV flight and Maiden line of sight flight. Um, maidens for both their... Looks like my battery strap's ripping. This is a crappy one. I'll have to get a new one for the camera strap here. Um, but yeah, definitely um, compared to 5-inch, it still is lacking um, in the top end power as well as flight time. But these motors and these new props for sure made a huge thrust improvement over the 1806, at least feel-wise. Um, yeah, I did I did a quick little thrust test, no video, just a personal thrust test on one of these 2600 KV red bottoms and these props. And I got 935 grams of thrust, so that's over 200 grams more per motor over the 4040 tries from GemFam. So that's um, 800 grams total more, um, but I was getting a couple more amps, which is why I only got two minute flight times in my line of sight as well as FPV there. So I'm going to have to be looking for some probably better batteries these uh nanotechs just, just regular ones because i was hoping a four inch build it wouldn't be super power hungry but i was kind of wrong there these is falling just as much as my five inch so i'm gonna have to look for some better batteries um maybe if i could get a 1100 milliamp hour graphene that would be perfect i think but you know i'll see what i can find because this battery is just sagging too much but other than that um and just a quick little before i do a full video on this lens and camera settings i love that lens and the camera like I've never seen that much before and the colors are just so clear it flew great and it's just really bad time out with the sun it's just blaring down it's about five o'clock so yeah that was a quick little update there'll definitely be more to come on this little four inch guy and I'll see you in the next video please subscribe if you want already feel free to ask any questions below and yeah see you in the next one <laughs>